Hello everyone, welcome back to Starkey Forum Says. So this video is very, very serious. There are people who claim that if you got the C jab, that your body will transform, that you will become transhuman, that you have been given Nephilim blood. And that is the first mark of the beast. And now you're doomed to go to hell. Guys, I cannot make this up. I got this email. I literally have people who think they have the right to email me and lecture me that I am leading people astray because I do not believe that the V that was given in 2020 is the mark of the beast. No, I don't. Because the Bible clearly states that you have to choose. You have to choose the mark of the beast, willingly knowing what it is. And by choosing the mark of the beast, you will renounce Jesus as Lord and Savior. You will know what you are doing. You will know. There will be no, is this, maybe it could be. Oh, I think it is. No, I don't think it is. I'm not sure. Could it be? It will be, you're taking the mark of the beast and renouncing Jesus or you die. You die, you die a physical death. Okay, there'll be no confusion. These type of people are scary. And she has got enough nerve to tell me that these that they're being shadow banned. Well, God, I hope YouTube takes them all off. Because I did hear a preacher, and I tell you guys, I only listen to my preacher and my son's preacher. Now, if I find something interesting on YouTube that somebody sends me, and I agree or disagree, I'll clip it in. But I don't watch them. I'm not subscribed to their channels. I don't get updates when they post. Okay, because I, I don't do that. And he did have people that got the vaccines to come forward and get prayed over. Because we know that there's mRNA in there and that some people are having serious troubles health-wise because of them. But you can pray to have your body healed. It's not the mark of the beast. Guys, please be careful. Please be careful with who you're listening to. These people are flipping insane. I'm not joking. I'm being really serious. These are the people, the false prophets that God warns about. These are the people screaming that April 8th is the end of the world. That it's going to calm down. These are the people saying you have to have blessed candles for three days of darkness. And if you go outside, the demons will eat your soul and you'll go to hell. If you don't know how ridiculous that sounds, I I'm sorry. Unsubscribe to me. You, I blocked her after I told her about herself. So I don't know who you think you are. You don't have permission. You do not have my permission to continue trying to communicate with me. I don't want anything to do with people like that. I don't think they're right. That's the craziest thing I've ever read. And this is the rest of her email. Now, I left out when I clipped it. I didn't want you people to see the channels that she was trying to tell me I needed to go watch and bring to you. And then I needed to repent and fast because you and I and all 46,000 of us were going to go to hell because we weren't telling people that they were vaccinated with the blood of fallen angels. I, my God, please, please, if you follow people saying that, stop watching them. The, I, I am not joking. I said this in an earlier video. If I wasn't currently saved, I don't know that I would get saved because these people are not real Christians. They're not. I have had people ask me to have people come on my show to talk about 
frequencies and crystals and I'm not. I'm not. I don't get down with all that. Pick up a Bible. Go to a Christian blood teaching spirit-filled church and get yourself delivered from the demons you've let yourself get into. Anything past the Bible, at this point, I don't even want to discuss it. Stop sending me links to all these crazy YouTube prophets. I don't waste my time. If you haven't noticed, I'm in the middle of helping to see a private school at my church. Yeah, you heard me. We're starting a school to get these babies out from underneath this influence of what the world's trying to shove down their tiny throats. I'm in the middle of running a children's church every Wednesday. I'm growing a quarter acre of food. If you'd like to donate to our Give, Send, Go Food for Thought campaign, feel free. We're growing a quarter acre of food, plus rabbit meat, plus milled corn, grits, flour, plus the eggs, and we're giving it all away for free to people in our community who need, who need, okay? Americans who need. Americans who need. I don't have time. Don't have time to watch every professed YouTube preacher. I don't know them. I don't know their churches. I don't know their backgrounds. And I don't have time to make sure that they're not tickling my ears. So I'm not listening to them. God bless you. Blessed are the eyes that see. Blessed are the ears that hear. Get off of these channels with these insane people. I love you guys. Be watching. Be aware. A lot of false prophets out there.